If there was a music artist who's still alive, who got convicted of murder, would you still buy their music? If there was a YouTuber who was convicted of murder, but they still managed to find a way to make content, they might maybe they ran away from the law and they're, you know, going to all these different places constantly. Would you support their content? If a YouTuber was convicted of rape and it was absolutely proven that they raped someone, without a doubt, would you still support their content? Would you give them Patreon money? Now, people are free to have their opinions about that sort of thing. Some people don't care what people do uh, in their real life. And they just care about the content that they make. Okay, that's, that's fair. You know, someone can show their consistency on that. Okay, that's fine. So, for instance, TJ, the amazing atheist, supporting people that he, dis he thinks that the things that they actually do is terrible, but he still is entertained by their content, so he'll support them. Now, to me, that's kind of lacking in morals to have, to have that stance, but someone's free to have that stance. Okay, I'm not going to judge the person who supports someone, someone's content, who has done something terrible. I'm not going to judge them the same way as the person who actually did something terrible. Now, having said that, um, the amount of people who just continue to give atheism is unstoppable all this support, even though he did these things, is a little bit disturbing to me. Because it's pretty much all atheists that are supporting him um, in, in, in what he's done. That doesn't look good for atheists. It looks like atheists have no morals. That's what it appears as. Well, who cares what it appears as? Okay, you know, you can do what you will. But when you combine that with a number of other things that have been going on, where, you know, people making arguments like words don't, uh, words can't hurt people. Um, <laughs> and yet, and yet, you know, they're the... <laughs> There's some of the same people who would agree with uh, Devon's method where, oh, someone said something uh, negative about him, uh, and so obviously words hurt people, so now he wants to potentially mess up people's lives uh, because the words hurt him. And yet, again, the same some of the same people who are supporting uh, Devon are saying that words can't hurt people. I mean, that's that's some serious hypocrisy going on. Um, so, you know, my beef is not with TJ the Amazing Atheist. My beef is with atheism is unstoppable. I'm not going to support the guy. Besides all the other reasons why I wouldn't support him. <laughs> so... Just, just think about, you know, how would you react to your favorite artist or your favorite YouTuber uh, getting convicted of murder? What, what if they were a serial killer and it was found out? Would you still support their content? And being that who someone is shows in everything that they do, what is it that you want to take from their content and what is it that you want to throw away? What is it that put that person in the mindset of wanting to go on a serial killing spree? I mean, this is, this is like people, 
Oh, no, I can't remember his name. Oh, my God, I just had it a moment ago. Um, the guy who... <clears throat> Uh, made a some videos saying that uh, uh, women are sluts and they don't they don't want a real they don't want gentlemen like him. Uh, damn it! I was hoping I could remember his name. And then he went on a killing spree and then killed himself. And you know this would be like people saying, well, you know, um, he's dead and he did these terrible things, but I still like his content and what he said about women. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you like what he said about women. You know, so I'm, so I'm thinking about Devin in the things that he says about different demographics. And it's all right wing humor. <laughs> and it's like, do, do you do you understand human psychology? Do you realize that the things... If you line up with a mindset that does terrible things, isn't it more likely that you will lose a sense of your morality if you continue to support that kind of mindset? If you adopt some of that mindset as your own? Doesn't that get you closer to being as messed up as they are? I mean, that's weird. That's a weird thing. Now, I'm thinking about that. You know, maybe people could say that, uh, well, you know, I, I, I have, you know, Kazoom, I have uh, uh, things that are messed up. I've had a lot of mental struggles, and I suppose that listening to my rants might make you closer to the things that make me messed up. I'm sure there could be some truth to that. But, you know, the ways that I messed up, I don't go out and hurt people. I try really hard not to hurt people until they've... I mean, I do have a breaking point, like I eventually did with Eve. I have a breaking point, but I do my best to try to treat people decently. And I'm not going to walk on eggshells, as most people who know me uh, know. I don't walk on eggshells, but I don't go out of my way to try to hurt someone. So. Yeah, what do you want to support? That's the big question. <clears throat> what do you want to support?